Alright, so I have something a little exciting today. Um, some of you guys have probably seen this company, Creation Crate. Um, it's a company that sends out Arduino projects every month with a booklet in it and all the supplies you would need for the project. Um, I This is my first month getting it, so I'm going to try it out for a few months and see how I like it and see if it's something I would recommend. Um, so opening it up, I did open it up and look through some of the through some of the stuff. Um, here's the book. It's very detailed. Has lots of information in it. Um, has all the code right here and has very good explanations as what everything does. And um, so this one here is the mood lamp. I know some other people have built this one. And uh, so here's some pieces for it. I believe each box will come with an Arduino Uno. Um, now these are not the original Unos. These are uh, uh, clones. But um, this one here I've had before. Or one very similar to this. And it is a fairly good Uno. So they're not giving you the cheapest low end ones they out there. Um, I ordered a power supply for it. So I can run it without the USB cable. That normally would not come in the box. Um, just a little postcard thing here. I think maybe a sticker. I'm not sure. Here's all your components. Um, for this one, there's three lights in there for your RGB colors and a photo resistor, a normal resistor, and then some jumper leads. We have a, looks like a nice breadboard. We have some more jumper cables here from going for going from the Arduino to the board itself. Have the USB cable to program it. And in the bottom we have a couple stickers here. So that is everything in the box. Now, I am going to work on putting this together. I'll uh, do a little time lapse of it. Then I'll write up the code and uh, show you then the finished product and let you know what I think about it. Alrighty, I wanted to take a quick look at the directions here. So they give very detailed and nice illustrated pictures on how to lay everything out should be fairly simple to put together even for younger kids so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and start working on putting this together Alrighty, so I got it all wired up here, only took a few minutes, and um, yeah, so there's a few things I didn't like, so the little black jumper pieces there, they are very short, and I don't think they stripped enough off each end, if I can get that to focus there. So they don't set down in there very far, and I'm not sure if they're making good contact or not. In fact, this one here can just basically almost come out. Um, but we'll see here. I may replace them with some other jumper leads or something there. Um, but yeah, besides that, the directions are fairly simple. It is a little bit harder to see what pin they go on, but you just count the pins out, and you don't really need to see the, the little... Uh, numbers and, and letters on on the paper um, but it would be nice to have a little bit better uh, view of that but overall it seemed pretty easy I did cut out some of those jumpers there because I didn't feel they were needed I had long enough cables here to just uh, run directly to it 
Uh, so that was an extra step. So let me go ahead and get this all, uh, the code written up here and get it uploaded to the Arduino and we'll see what it looks like. Alrighty, so here is the finished project. So as you can see, it will slowly change colors um, and the speed uh, varies depending on the brightness in the room and uh, several other variables. You can look at the code then and, and see what it does. Um, but yeah, this was a pretty cool project. It's fairly simple. Uh, the code, if, if this was for an absolute beginner, the code is a little complicated to understand, but they have everything laid out very nicely, so you can just pretty much type it exactly how it is into the code, or into the programmer. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool project. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool project, and it's it was a lot of fun to build, especially since I haven't been building any Arduino projects lately for a little while, so it was nice to get back into it. It is nice to watch it go back and forth. Um, I may actually one day build an enclosure for it so the Arduino is hidden there and then just have this sitting on top so you can see it and just have it running all night or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, so that that's what it is. Now, my overall thoughts on the kit. I thought the directions were very easy to understand. Um, very, very nice how they were laid out. Um, you got enough parts with everything. In fact, you have a few extras. Um, the price, I think the price is a little on the, a little bit on the high side. Um, although it, it is nice to have the, the, all the pieces you need for the kit and everything. Uh, so you don't have to go out and source each one by itself. Um, but if you did, if you bought everything, on eBay or something like that, you could probably get it cheaper. And I know they have to make their money. You know, they have expenses, websites, employees, you know, and then, you know, they got to ship everything out and all that kind of stuff. So there is a lot of expenses there, and they're trying to make a profit, of course. But but anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this first one. Um, I, I did a three-month subscription, so I'm going to be getting two more of these, and I'll be doing an update video on them. So if you're interested in checking this company out, I'll have the link in the description. You can go there and um, sign up for it if you're interested. Uh, just so you guys know, I am not getting paid by them. This is all on my own. Um, just thought it'd be something cool to try and share it out with everybody else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully you found something fun to play around with here and, and to continue learning.